So I would like to talk a little bit about participation and I'm on the board at the People's Food Co-op and when we came up with our end statement, um, we were really excited about it and since then we've been developing it further and also wondering how to engage our owners and the community on these ends. And we decided that we would read a book together as a board and as we were deciding which book to read, we thought, well, maybe we should just have everybody invite owners and community members to read it. Partially inspired by our Kalamazoo Public Library, does a reading together, and that always seemed like such a cool thing, get as many people as possible to read the same book and talk about it and get some common ideas. So we chose last year uh, Folks This Ain't Normal by Joel Salatin and Seed Folk, um, which is a children's book by Paul Fleshman. And um, created a bunch of different events and activities around town over the course of a few months to promote the books and get people thinking and talking and even if they hadn't read the book to think about some of the ideas in the book and serendipitously our the Kalamazoo Nature Center um, brought Bill or sorry Joel Salatin to Kalamazoo to speak and we so we quickly got on board with that and a lot of people came out to see that we had an event right before the speaking event um, and we got food from the Can Do Kitchen, which is a local or a small food incubator where people can start up a local food, or not necessarily local, but they can start up a food business, local because they're making it here. Um, anyways, all of the food from that event was, was provided by Can Do Kitchen clients and they were there serving their food and talking about their food. That was really fun. And also at the event, we had the Idea Association do some interactive things with people coming through. And Simon will tell you more about that in a minute. So that was a really fun event. And it got a lot of people in our community. Um, just we, I, we, what we were trying to do is let them know kind of what we're all about and, and find out what they're all about and what, what they're interested in and how we can learn from everybody. So that was our goal with that. And it was pretty successful. We did learn um, in particular with the kids' activities that we had better participation if we sought out a group that was already in existence, um, as opposed to just having an activity or an event and hoping that people show up. We'd, we had kind of low attendance to some of those activities, but we did a kids activity and there happened to be a Boys and Girls Club where we were doing it, and so we went and recruited a bunch of kids to join us, and that worked out really well. So we had a, a little crew to do that one. Um, this year, we chose Deep Economy by Bill McKibben because there was a group in Kalamazoo that was bringing Bill McKibben in, and we thought, well, get on board with that. And also another young adult book called Get Real, What Kind of World Are You Buying? And so Bill McKibben just came in to speak, um, and there's uh, a bunch of different activities happening in Kalamazoo this, throughout this whole month. Um, and we chose to show the movie Dirt as, uh, as our piece of that sustainability series and had a forum and talked about that. We had a good turnout for that. That went really well. And the, the middle school, um, or the young adult book, we've dropped off in a couple of middle school classrooms. And we'll also go in and visit with them and talk with them about some of the things food related that the co-op does in relationship to that book. So that's how we're kind of trying to do our ends work um, as a board and then broadening it out into the ownership and into the greater community. And it's been really fun so far and um, I look forward to doing more of it. It's been really awesome collaborating with the Idea Association, and um, Simon will fill you in on those details. Thanks, Heather. Uh, can everybody hear me? Uh, my name's Simon Borst. I'm the front-end manager of the People's Food Co-op of Kalamazoo. Um, I also have been, longer than I've held this job, I've been uh, doing some design work for the co-op. Uh, whether that be poster design um, or uh, these sort of journalistic comics that uh, me and my buddy Chris Moore work on collaboratively uh, for a quarterly magazine. Um, so uh, that being sort of my background and my interest, uh, art, uh, I collaborated with a group called Idea Association at uh, two co-op events um, in particular that I'm going to talk about um, uh, in an effort to uh, collaborate with the community and get the community involved in a uh, creative process um, acknowledging our ends. So uh, the first one was at the uh, Salatin event. Um, that one, uh, we, uh, me and other IDEA Association members made two huge boards um, and uh, they're about like six foot tall, about three feet across 
um, on those boards. Um, we were in the lobby um, of the Salatin talk and uh, encouraged people to come up and uh, answer the question visually with paints and collage, um, what is the future of food in Kalamazoo? Um, so that sort of, uh, a lot of people are very hesitant to express themselves in a visual way, in a nonverbal or um, non-written way. Um, so we really encourage people to try and think visually in that instance. Um, the other one was at the uh, annual meeting that we, that we hold every year for owners. Um, it's kind of a big party, but they also get educated about our ends. Um, Co-op ends in our progress over the last year. Um, so for this one, uh, at the entrance of the, of the annual meeting, um, we wrote out our end statement. Uh, People's Food Co-op of Kalamazoo exists to create access to food that is healthy for people, land, and the economy. Um, keeping in mind that uh, words are very important, and uh, as uh, Vanessa pointed out to me earlier, um, acknowledging specific words uh, like the term racial uh, before diversity um, is really important. So we had people um, define each and every word in the end statement. Um, on a huge sheet of paper, uh, people were encouraged to come and write what they thought, uh, let's see, what they thought exists meant. They had to describe the word existence. Next, uh, they had to describe create, access, food, and so forth. Uh, we didn't have them describe is or of. <laughs> Maybe we should have. Um, so that was a really successful um, in my opinion, a really successful exercise. Um, some people were drawing things, um, writing things, you know. Uh, definitions were all over the place. Um, but uh, uh, we were able to catalog all the answers and have some uh, interesting ideas come out of that. Um, so those are the two events. And um, just like to encourage people to uh, think outside the box sometimes and um, think of creative ideas that you can use to express yourself um, and uh, your ends, whatever your co-op you're part of. Thanks.